In this video, we'll be working through the question you see on the screen from the 2023 Ordinary Level Maths Leave Insert. I recommend you try the question before watching, and if you get stuck anywhere, feel free to ask for help in the comments. I will do my best to get back to you. Check out my channel for a playlist with all the other questions. This is question eight. In this question, we're gonna use the trapezoid rule. Uh, we're gonna deal with some areas, a bit of percentages, and a bit of currency uh, changing. Lots of, lots of everything, as little. Bit. And this is question eight. In this question, we'll be dealing with a trapezoid rule, and we'll be looking at other areas, and then a bit of conversions between currencies and percentages. Okay, to jump right in, in part A, they simply ask us to find the area of this entire garden. And just in case they're not clear, they even say the total area of the rectangle. So that's just simply 30 multiplied by 50, or sorry, I should probably write it like this. I never, I never like writing X's like that. Uh, 30 multiplied by 50, and that's just equal to 1,550, and that's meters squared. Now in maths, you won't lose any marks for leaving out the M squared, but if you're, doing, if you're in science and they ask something like this, um, you will lose marks. So I like to put them in. Okay, for part B, and this is the real meat of the question, they ask us to use the trapezoid rule and find the area, or they say estimate, I believe. Um, yeah, work out an estimate for the area of this pond that's in the middle of the garden. Now the trapezoid rule, you'll find it in um, your formula tables. It's, it's something like this, I don't have my table, so I'm not fully sure what it looks like in that. Uh, but it's h divided by two multiplied by the first. And they'll sometimes write that, they, well they will write that as y zero. But it's really just the first number, and um, plus two times all the other numbers, like just all the numbers added, uh, let's say all added. They'll write that as y1 plus y2 plus y3, dot, 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 all the way to yn minus one. And then they'll write yn, but really all it means is the last number. And, uh, and that's it. Let's, let's write that out with a real example here. Hopefully you can see these numbers. If not, you should be able to see it in your own uh, question. But the first thing is H, uh, the width. Sorry, I don't have that written in. Three, the width of all these lines is three. So we know that number, we can put it in, three over two. The next is the first number. Now, this is probably where a lot of students made a mistake. The very first number here isn't written, it's zero the height of the start of it is actually zero. So the first number here is zero. The second number is 10. The third number is 14. So we put that in here, two and uh, multiplied by, so it's 10 plus 14 plus 12 plus 10 plus eight, but not the last number, which in this case is two. And that's out here, plus uh, two. Okay, if you're wondering how this works, there's, your teacher probably showed you the proof of how this works, um, but really you don't need it for your exam. If you are interested, you'll, you'll be able to find that online somewhere, uh, the proof of how it works. Um, it's not that difficult, to be honest. It's really just rectangles and triangles all add together to make this. But anyway, back into this. Uh, go ahead and use a calculator here. I'd, I'd do it in parts. I'd add all this up, um, that's 20, 30, 40, 54 multiplied by two should be, um, uh, 54 multiplied by two is 108, plus zero, that's nothing, plus two, uh, I should have done the plus two there, multiply by three over two, this is 110, 110 divided by two is 55, and 55 multiplied by three is equal to 160, oops, my bad, 65 meters squared. But again, go ahead, use a calculator. I'd, I would, whenever there's a sum this big, I would break it into parts. And um, like the calculator will save you an extra minute, but honestly, you're bound to make a mistake if you put all this into the calculator in one go. Or if you do what I did, do it in your head, you're also bound to make a mistake. Break it up into parts, take the extra one minute, it's all it'll take you, and double check. Or, or just go over it once or twice. So uh, just in case that's not clear, 165 meters uh, squared. 
So that's the answer to part B. Um, part C, well I'll rub this out first, but it's, it's really just a bit of English, so well, I'll rub this out first. Okay, for part C, they simply ask us to suggest a way, while still using the trapezoid rule, that we can make this uh, measurement a bit better. And uh, I've already wrote out the answer. Um, there is one other answer they give you, but basically split it into more parts. What I mean by that is, this is split into six parts. One, two, three, four, five, six. If you just split that into, like the total length here is uh, 18. Maybe they could have split that into nine parts every two, or 18 parts, or 13 parts. It doesn't have to be a whole number. Um, you would have got a, a more accurate measurement. Again, if you split into less parts, so maybe just split into two, you get an estimate, but it wouldn't be very good. Um, so yeah, the answer to part C, split it into more parts. Oh, and the other answer they give is just to measure better. Like again, this you can do this in real world. Um, it'd take you a while, you probably want to use a few strings to make sure you got straight lines, uh, measuring tape, uh, set up a little square around it, and then measure the length across at certain intervals. Um, but yeah, if you, were, if you took a little more time to measure carefully, that would be another answer to this. But really, the main answer, split it into more parts. Okay, on to part D. Um, the previous part we guessed, or we estimated, that the area of the pond was 165. But now they tell us the actual answer is 172. They also tell us the rest of this garden is made up of grass. And they want us to find out, um, they tell us how much it costs uh, to re-sow the grass uh, per square meter and they want us to work out how much it will cost to do the whole garden. So the first thing we need to know is how much grass we're dealing with. We know how much pond um, and from the start, the, this, the first part A, we know the total area was 1,500 meters squared. Um, so how much grass is there? Just take these two away. 1,500 minus 172 and that's equal uh, do I have a number there? Uh, 1328 meters squared. That's how much grass we're dealing with. They also tell us that uh, the grass costs um, 2 euro and 55 cent per, per uh, meter squared. Per meters squared. So this is a lot of meters squared. We just multiply these two numbers together. And again, we use a calculator for this. Uh, 255 multiplied by 1328 and that equals uh, 3386.40 so that's how much it would cost to sow the gar oh they yeah i forgot that part they um tell us they want the answer to correct to the nearest 10 euro even though this is the perfect answer they will take mark off for not doing the last bit so to the nearest 10 euro um it'd be 3000 300, here's the important part, is this closer to 80 or closer to 90? And it's clearly closer to 90. So that's, a, that's the final answer there for part D. It would cost 3,390 euro to re-sow this garden. Now we're still in the world where we're re-sowing this garden, but we don't really need the picture anymore because we've moved on to um, part E, where they tell us that some materials used for the, doing the gardening um, were imported from England and they cost 840 pound. So it's important we're not in euro anymore. We're dealing in pounds. Including, um, inc this included the import duty of 16.9%. Um, and they want us to find out how much it cost, the equipment cost before the import duty. So uh, I guess if you lived in England, it should cost less, but to get it shipped over to Ireland, um, you have to pay taxes when it comes in. So it's, going to, it's costing more. So um, most people will tell you to do this, you divide by 116.9 and multiply by 100. But I, I like to do it slowly every time. I know it probably bores a lot of people, but 840 is equivalent to the total cost plus the tax. So that's 116.9%. So that's the total cost, which is 100%, plus the tax. And we want to find out what just 100% was. 
we want to find out what this number goes to over here. And if you're ever trying to change from one number to another, it's easy. Just change to one. It's easy to get to one. Just divide by itself. 116.9 divided by 116.9 is one. And if you're going to do that to the right side, you better do it to the left. 840 divided by 116. Point, uh, nine. I think I said point 0.1 there, did I? Um, and then if you want to get to, from 1 to 100, that's even easier. Multiply by 100. So multiply this guy by 100. 100 multiplied by 840 divided by 116.9. Now again, a lot of books you might just see multiply by 100 divide. I think I said that the wrong way around before. Um, multiply by 100 divide by this. But a lot of students often ask why. Why am I doing that? I like to do this slow way every time. Uh, put all this into a calculator and you will get uh, 718.56 and that's pound. Always when you finish a question, always check does it make sense. Um, if you got in Ireland for 840 and you paid tax, how much would it have been in England? It should be less. And lots of students, they'll get answers like, uh, let's say 950. They did it the wrong way, they added 16% on. They'll get an answer like 960 and not think, wait, why is it more expensive in England after paying the tax? It doesn't make, make sure the answer makes sense in a logic. It might not be the right number. Maybe I made a mistake in my number somewhere. H hard to find that, but it's easy to find the logical mistake. Anyway, I think that's right. I, I think I checked earlier when I was doing it out. Okay, so that's part E. Okay, part F, I think I can squeeze it in over here. Um, part F, uh, the gardener paid the 840 pound bill, but he needed to pay with euro. Look, he's, he's working in Ireland. So um, he needed to convert the money. They, they have a conversion right here. One, one euro goes to uh, how much pound was it? 0 0.8547. Okay, so how much did it cost? Uh, basically, oh, sorry, there's also a fee paid. He had to pay a 2.5% commission on the 840. So you can do this two ways. You can change 840 into euro now and then add on 2.5% or I can change 840, sorry, I can add 2.5% onto 840 now, and then change it to euro. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, 840, and we want to add on 2.5%. And uh, the quickest way is just to multiply it by 1.025. Um, that's, that's like adding on 2.5. Uh, but I won't, I won't do that. That's why I, I, I deal with money conversion all the time in my real job. And that's how I would do it. It's the fastest way. But it's probably not the easiest way to understand as a student. So here's how I'm going to, to do it. 840, I'm going to find 2.5%. So I'm going to multiply it by 2.5%. Now your calculator has a percent button. This will get the right answer. But also you might want to change from percent I've, I've used multiply again here, haven't I? Let's uh, use a bracket. Um, you might want to change, instead of using percentage, you might want to use 0 0.025. These are the same number. 2.5% is the same as 0 0.025. Just divide it by 100. Either way, if you put this in your calculator, if you remember to use the percent button, you will get uh, 21, and this is pound. Uh, 21 pounds. If you don't use the percent button, and remember to divide by 100 first, you will also get 21 pound. Then we need to add it on. Um, so that's 840 plus 21, it's 861. That's how you get 2.5%. Um, and, and it, you can check your calculator, if you multiply it by 1.025, you would also get uh, 861. Okay, so that's how much he had to pay after the conversion rate. So let's change this into euro. Uh, 860, um, actually, yeah, let's do it this way. Uh, one is the same as, 
zero point eight five four seven. That's one euro, and we want to know what eight hundred and sixty one pound is. The same as. This is how I do all of my questions like this. Um, so how do I how do I get from this number to this number? Change it to a one first, and anything changes to a one easily. Just divide by itself. So this side, 1 divided by 0 0.8547 is equivalent to 1. And then how do I get from 1 to 861? Just multiply. So multiply the right is 861 divided by 0 0.8547. And if you go ahead and put this onto a calculator, you will get your final answer of 1,000 and... 7.37 that's euro so that's how much he cost instead of paying 840 he had to pay eight one thousand and seven euro and that's um after paying also two and a half percent conversion rate i hope that made sense um honestly i i do these sort of conversions in my job all the time but Really, I just did them really quickly in the calculator because I'm so used to doing them. So I, I don't think I'm the best at teaching how to do it. Um, when, you, when you become an expert at doing something so much, it's, it's quite hard to teach it. Uh, but uh, hopefully, hopefully you've learned. And if you haven't learned and you have any questions, please put them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer. Thanks for watching and have a great day.